The mission of the MMRF has never changed. It's always been to accelerate the development of new drugs and extend the lives of the patients that we serve. What does change is how we approach that mission. Clearly the most exciting area in myeloma today is immunotherapy, particularly the use of engineered cellular products such as CAR T-cells. We clearly get that these are going to be transformative in multiple myeloma. What we need to learn how to do is to individualize those therapies so we're giving them to the right person at the right time in the right place. So there's been a hope that if we train the immune system against cancer, that that could lead to a relatively selective response, so one that would go after the tumor and be somewhat selective in terms of not causing side effects for normal tissues. We have never seen the progress in immunotherapy that we are seeing today. Where the MMRF can lead the way is understanding how we can cure this disease using immuno-oncology, understanding using those things together, the drugs we have, the molecular makeup of the cell, the immune system, to bring cure to more patients more rapidly. As our business model continues to grow in precision medicine, and we use our data to understand where the best opportunities are, it allows us to have a laser focus on which classes of drugs do we want to pursue right away. The thing that venture philanthropy brings to the table is you can combine that patient-centric focus together with a capital-centric focus that is the simple reality of bringing any kind of therapy to market. We get a return from our investments and then that money is then put back into research and we really generate this virtuous cycle where then we have more research, we do things faster. In healthcare, data is very hard to come by. It's siloed, it's fractured, it's not clean. The idea was that if you could get clinical data and molecular data in one place, you could actually build systems and analyze that data and then use those data sets to help physicians make real-time decisions. 20 years ago, it would have been impossible to kind of understand, you know, all these different subsets of, of myeloma here. To be able to use computers to help assist physicians in picking the best choice for a patient is really exciting. With so much progress in the field of myeloma, it's critical that we share that information with our patients and oncologists. If we're starting to understand which treatments are working for which subtypes, Everybody needs to know that. MMRI from the beginning has been focused on the idea that you have to have good data to make good decisions. One of the beauties of the MMRF is that they've really been pioneers across a lot of these new ideas and basically saying the old models were good, but we can do better. And what's been impressive about MMRF is that they're one of the most forward thinking in terms of how do you be innovative? How do you take bold action? How do you not be afraid of all these new technologies that, yes, are gonna change the paradigm of how we treat patients, but can be used to change that paradigm in a positive manner? The MMRF model can be applied to breast cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer, melanoma. The impact that we can have for every cancer patient is astounding.